Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. My name is Latifa Bartlett de Villarreal, and I'm honored to work at Good Samaritan Ministry leading the Circles program. The Circles program is a program to build community to help individuals and families thrive. We use a model of mentoring that is often very different from what you see out and about in the world. The heart of Circles is a mutual relationship between individuals from vastly different life experiences. At its best, it is a taste of the mentorship that leads to community. How do you go from strangers that might not otherwise ever cross paths to this kind of vision from Acts, day by day, spending much time together, breaking bread at home, having glad and generous hearts with one another? There is a desire to be seen and to be known that is hungry in not just our wider community, but within our churches. One of the stories that I think will always stick with me um, when I was early in circles, there was one of our volunteers who was completing an exercise with one of our participants. And the question was, what might stop you from accomplishing your goals this week? And the volunteer told me later, he said, I couldn't think of a single thing that might stop me from accomplishing my goals this week. It was a given, I was going to do it. But he looked over at the program participant sitting next to him, hoping to be inspired. And the very first thing that that participant had written on his page was loneliness. The thing that was most likely to stop him was loneliness. Mentoring is about tools. It's about growth. It's about sharing of knowledge. But at its heart, it is an intentional, authentic relationship that produces transformation. So in this devotional, as you carry this with you throughout the week or the month, I'd like you to reflect on how do we as Christians, as people descended from that vision of the early church, work to reach across socioeconomic divisions across cultural lines, across the geography of our state, and think about how we can lean into that which is hard, that which is messy, but that which is real and connects us to one another. And basing all of that on the biblical truth of who we are, a people called to community.